Hello everybody, it's Mr. Stacy here and it's Jolly Grammar time and this is the first part of Jolly Grammar which is our spelling test. So please put your spelling answers in the quiz and after you've done the spelling test quiz uh, you can move on to doing the Jolly Grammar workbook uh, after this video. Okay, so our spelling is the with the spelling V-E, okay, V-E, um, and number one, 12, 12, t w -e -v, 12, and that's got six letters, six letters, 12. Number two, have, 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 I have a dog. I have a cat. And that's got four letters. H, A, V. Number three, wave, or if you like surfing, wave. W, A, V. Wave. And that's four letters. Wave. Number four, save. Save. You can save money or you uh, save a goal. Save. S a v and that's got four letters number five shave 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 sh a v shave when a man uh, cuts his face to get rid of the beard or sometimes shave your neck shave sh a v and that's five letters Number six, carve, carve, carve. So when you go to Ikinali steak and you have a steak, you carve your steak, k a v, carve, and that's five letters. Number seven, dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. This is a science word, dissolve, dis, s of and that's one two three four five six seven eight eight letters number eight another science word observe 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 to look at something we're doing lots of observing with our plant unit observe and that is one two three four five six seven letters seven letters observe number nine eavesdrop 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 to listen secretly eavesdrop eavesdrop good luck on that one and that's one two three four five six seven eight nine letters and number ten retrieve 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 one two three four five six seven eight letters again and those are all your spelling words for this week. Number one, 12. Number two, have. Number three, wave. Number four, save. Number five, shave. Number six, carve. Number seven, dissolve. Number eight, observe. Number nine, eavesdrop. And number 10, retrieve. Good job on that. Looking forward to seeing your spelling answers. After this spelling, uh, there'll be some instructions on how to do the Jolly Grammar this week. Okay, have a good day and I'll speak to you next, next in a minute with the Jolly Grammar video. Bye bye. Hello everybody and it's Jolly Grammar time now. Uh, so you need your Jolly Grammar book. And today's lesson, we are on page 12 and page 13 of the Jolly Grammar for Student book. Okay, and if we take a look, there's the bell just a minute, please.
Q. And today's lesson, let's take a look. Uh, the spelling rule is plurals, dz, scarves, so it ends in a s. And uh, the grammar point is uh, plural nouns, plural nouns. So here we have plurals as, as in spellings. We've got them here, and these are plural nouns. So let's look at page 12 first, and we're going to do what we do every time we have our Jolly Grammar. Let's number the words, please. Number one is scarves, scarves, scarves. Number two is selves, selves, selves. Number three is wives, wives, wives. The singular is wife. Ah, number one, the singular is scarf. One scarf, many scarves. Number four is lives, lives, lives. Number five is elves, elves, elves. Number six is loaves, loaves, loaves. Number seven is hooves, hooves. Hooves. Number eight is leaves, leaves, leaves. I'll write the singular for this one. Leaf, one leaf, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leaves. Scarfs, one scarf is S C A R F. Scarf. Next, knives, knives, knives. One knife, N I F E. Wolves, wolves, wolves. They're wild dogs. One wolf, W O L F. Shelves, shelves, shelves. Got lots of shelves in the science room. One sh shelf, shelf. Maths word, halves, 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 half, half. Let's put the numbers, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here we go, calves, calves, calves are baby cows. 13, calf is one cow. Thieves, thieves, thieves. Don't want to be a thief. Thief. Wolves, wolves, wolves. If you go to Yokohama, there's lots of wolves. Wolves are places along the river. One wolf. Dwarfs, dwarfs, dwarfs. 16, one dwarf, D-W-A-R-F, ourselves, 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 ourself. Most of these end in an F for the singular. And number 18, themselves, 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 in singular, themselves. Let's call this section, section A, section A, with the words A, that's section A. So here we all have all the plurals, and you need to put the singular next to them, the singular next to them. So I'm going to give you number six, loaves, loaves, loaves. And one loaf is a loaf, a loaf of bread. When you go to the bakery and have a loaf, a loaf of bread. Let's look at uh, number 12, number 12, halves, 
halves. That's many. What do we call one? It's half. 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 Okay. Next, knives. Knives. In the kitchen, there are lots of knives. In the kitchen, there are lots of knives. If you've got one of these, it's called a knife. 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 Okay. I've helped you. Oh, what number is that? Let me check. Number nine. So write the number next to them and then write the um, singular. The singular, please. Next up is section B. Section B. That's this section. Here we have the opposite. We have the singular. One radio, one monkey, one goose, one cherry, one tomato, one bush. And for this uh, activity, we need to add a plural. So I'm going to give you one of these, okay? And I'm going to give you this one, tomato. Tomato is one, and you need to I'm going to draw some tomatoes. So the singular is tomato and the plural is tomatoes, tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes. And I'm going to do, this is radio or CD player. Going to add two more radios. Now there's three radios. So one is radio, but many is radios. Okay. All right. Uh, we don't have time to do the passing today. We're going to do a special lesson on passing. Um, when you maybe next week we'll do a dedicated lesson on passing but not today so that's the spelling side um, after the uh, video and quiz I'll give you the uh, spellings for next week okay so now that we've finished the um, spelling side let's look at the grammar point side we're still looking at plural and singular. And here we have plural nouns in sentences. Nouns. Nouns are in black. Okay. Rewrite each sentence so that any nouns are in bold. So this is bold, big black, big black. Okay are plural. So we need to change it from the singular to the plural. Make sure that the sentence still makes ch sense and change any other words. Okay. Make sure the sentence still um, makes sense and change any other words. Draw pictures of each item to match. So at the moment you've got one. One sunflower, one dress, one prize, one donkey, one berry, one man, and one fiddle, flute, and drum. So you need to change one flat sunflower to sunflowers, one dress to dresses, one prize to prizes. One donkey to donkeys, one berry to berries. One man to men. And one the band had a fiddle, flute and drum to fiddles, flutes and drums.
okay you don't have to have all of these a b let's call this section c i'll help you with one of these okay and i'd like you to um do two more two more if you have time if you've got lots of time and you're you're you like grammar you can fill these all in okay and if you want to send me a picture today of one of your pages you can i'll put a, a picture link uh, for you to upload so i let's do this one number one i grew a sunflower in a big pot let's do that one because it's quite sciencey for our unit i grew We're changing it from one to many, so sunflowers, sunflowers in a big pot. And then I'm going to draw a pot, and then I'm going to draw three sunflowers. Okay, I'm doing them tall. I'm doing them tall because sunflowers. There's my three sunflowers, and that's done. Okay, all right. So you can do uh, two more. Okay, uh, that's number two, that's number three. That's number four, that's number five, that's number six, and that's number seven. Okay, so you choose which ones that you want to do. And if you want to do uh, more than two more, and you have time, you can complete the chat, complete the page. Okay, I'll put a link up. So if you want to share with me, you can either share with me this week's Jolly Grammar, or if you want to share with me one of the other pages that you enjoyed doing, you can share any of the Jolly Grammar pages. Just um, take a picture and upload uh, your picture. Okay? All right. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again for another Jolly Grammar soon. Bye-bye.